Exercise 5 Create Vertical Alignment Using Defined Profile by Best Fit In this exercise you will learn how to create a vertical alignment using the Design Profile by Best Fit tools. In Open Rail Designer there are several methods of how you can create a vertical alignment. First of all, there is a vertical curvature diagram, which displays a diagram representing the curvature along the path of the regression points in a vertical alignment. This tool operates on a raw regression line. Profile from regression line creates a vertical alignment using the regression line profile. Initiate a vertical regression analysis on the created horizontal regression alignment. This tool projects vertical geometry attached to the regression line onto the final horizontal geometry. This geometry is then used for the vertical regression analysis. Profile from rails. Vertical regression analysis should be created on the horizontal alignment using the regression tools. This command is used for projecting rail vertical alignments onto the horizontal geometry. This geometry is then used for the vertical regression analysis. On the profile from rails tools setting window, there are several options for setting the elevation method. This selection defines how the elevations will be calculated. First of all, inside rail. The lower rail of the two rail elevations is used. Outside rail, the higher of the two rail elevation is used. Center, the vertical elevation is interpolated between the two rails used. Left rail, the left rail elevation is used right rail the right elevation is used in this course we're going to use the profile from rails tool in a previous exercise we turned off the reference files that contain both the left and right rail so we need to put those back on so we're going to go back to our home ribbon go to the primary tools and go to the attached tools and then references Select the left rail, DGN, and redisplay it, and the right rail, DGN, and redisplay it. Then close the reference dialog. Go back to the rail ribbon, and from the rail ribbon, under the regression tools, we're going to select create profile from rails. And we need to locate the track center line, which we designed using the horizontal regression tool. So that's our track main. On the profile box, select the elevation method here to inside rail. Put the feature definition to JOM temp. So from the list of feature definitions, we're going to use JOM temp. And we're going to leave the prefix name the same. Now we're going to locate the left rail, locate the right rail. Then we're going to open up view number two, open view number two, and data point in the view. And you will see there the profile of the level between the two tracks <clears throat> and we'll just cancel that command out and we'll just window in and you should see two lines there one is the profile line from the two rails and the other one is the ground profile
we're now going to create our vertical alignment. So from geometry, select under the vertical tools, complex geometry and complex geometry define profile by best fit. At the top of the dialog box, the best fit method that we're going to choose is make complex element. And we're going to set some best fit parameters. So the upper envelope that we're going to choose is 75 millimeters. The lower envelope is zero. A desirable crest curve length, we're going to put 100 meters in here. A desirable sag curve length is 100 meters. And the minimum curve length is going to be 20 meters. <coughs> Again, the feature definition, we're going to choose John Baseline. And the name that we're going to give to this profile, we're going to call it uh, here. Profile Track Main and we're just going to follow the prompts, locate the profile to best fit. So in the view two, we're going to select the profile line. And you'll see there the upper and lower limits that we've set for our best fit parameters. And we're just going to go through those prompts. And the best fit profile will be generated. Now I'm going to use my element selection tool to cancel that command out. I'm now going to do a profile alignment report. So again, I'm going to go back to the geometry ribbon. Go back to the general tools. Go to the reports option. And select profile report. I'm going to select that best fit alignment that we've just generated. Reset to complete. And again, it opens up the vertical alignment review report and you can have a look at this to see all the elements that it's generated and I'm going to go to file I'm going to save that document again as a word document and I'm going to call this the track main profile report and just save it and then close the report browser. I'm now going to create a vertical regression report. So again, I'm going to go back to the rail ribbon. Go to reports under the regression tools. And select vertical regression report. Locate uh, my center line, which is the profile track main. Locate the regression line. Again, the interval is at five meters. And again, we're going to pick here a report called vertical regression lifts and lowers. And again, you can see there the report produced. And a negative value is below the regression line. A positive value is above. And because we've set the value to 75 millimeters and the lower value to zero, we should not get any lifts greater than 75 mil. And again, we're going to go to file, save as, Save it as a Word doc. And again, we're going to call this the track main 
profile regression report and just save it and close the dialog. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.